Alright, so make a quick little video here on my uh, portable container mover. So the whole purpose of this is uh, my home ship has a crane and so um, for most of the bases where you're going to be moving containers, uh, you, can, you can load in a large container mover at these um, railway stations. And so there's one there, there's one at Komodo, there's one at um, Sawyer North here, but if you look at Sawyer South, Sawyer South doesn't have any place you can spawn a vehicle. So if you want to do container deliveries to Sawyer South, you need to bring a vehicle with you um, or drive it along the road there. So you have a vehicle here and then leave it. So what what I made here was this vehicle can be um, loaded via crane onto the home ship or any other ship with a um, crane. So have rope anchor there at the center of gravity and one here for the trailer unit and that allows me to load this onto the ship and actually utilize this to um, to move containers when I get there so I can bring this along with me. So uh, really quick we'll do a walk around here. So we have a refueling port, um, work light, camera, light cord for the trailer. We have a fifth wheel. We have a fifth wheel release so if we press that it will release the fifth wheel. If we press it again it will allow us to reattach the fifth wheel. Um, the cable gives us uh, control for our trailer unit, so we have uh, integrated lighting. Uh, we have manual brakes here, so if we want to add, put turn on the parking brakes, we can do that onto the trailer units. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in, and we'll start uh, going to move a container. All right, so we'll jump at the seat. So uh, panel is similar to my other container movers here. Engine start, stop. We start in neutral, as you can see. We can rev up, we don't move. We have gear up and down, so down is reverse. If you hear, we have a buzzer that beeps when we're in reverse. Uh, we also, if we look, we have reverse lights on the power unit only. Um, we have uh, speed, miles per hour, tack, uh, engine, temp, and battery. Uh, the battery is alternator controlled by PID, so it will automatically keep that charged. We have a reversing light there. Uh, parking brake starts enabled. We can release it there. If we turn on our hazards, you notice we have wigwags on the trailer and on the uh, power unit itself. Uh, from there, we have headlights. So if I turn on my headlights, you'll notice that um, let me shut off the hazards. The headlights are on. We get solid uh, reds and ambers all around. Um, if we do, uh, if we steer left, we'll get left directional wigwags. If we steer right, we'll get right directional wigwags. All right. Um, next thing we have is work light. So the work light here is in the back there, shines onto the trailer so that we can see when we're backing up at night. Uh, we also can put on the hazards while our headlights are on. As you can see, we'll get wigwags on the ambers. All right, so let's uh, go ahead. We'll shut the headlights and the hazards. Uh, we'll leave the hazards on. We'll release the parking brake. Uh, WSAD, make sure it's in first gear. Alright, so as you can hear, the engine revs quite high in first gear. This is intentional. This gives us a lot of torque. This is a small vehicle that's going to need to tow trailers around. So this lim both limits the speed of the vehicle while towing a trailer, and it also um, gives it a lot of power. So if we gear up, as you can see, there's more of a travel gear when we're not towing something. As you can see, we've got uh, engine runs quieter because we're, uh, you know, we're not producing as much torque, so we can rev down. So we're just going to pick a container, so we'll do that green one there, that uh, green acres. And then, uh, so I'm going to drive past the trailer here, and I'm going to pull in front of it. Alright, now I'm going to use my camera here, and I'm just going to zoom in, it might be tough to see. So I have an antenna there, I'm going to use the antenna and try to line it up with the center rib, so we'll put it in reverse. All right, we'll start steering it. So um, with the connectors and Stormworks, you don't need to get perf perfectly uh, aligned and they'll snap, so that's convenient. So I'm just using the camera here. Um, you know, if you want, you can also go in third person and you can um, control the camera here, but it's set up so that it will work in career with that camera. So the camera works quite well. Um, you know, we'll go back to camera to demonstrate. So as you can see, I can line up with this camera. And it was coasting a little bit while I was switching views, so I'm going to do a pull-up. So you want to move nice and slow. Um, I drive tractor trailer in real life, and so um, you know you often it's quicker to 
to move slowly and then um, align properly than to have to do a bunch of pull-ups and keep resetting your position because you because uh, you were rushing. You know, if you rush, you're most likely going to screw it up and you're going to have to um, do a pull-up and it's going to actually take you longer to rush than it will be to do it slowly and correctly. All right, so we've we're hit. We've hit. We're connected. Let's put the parking brake on. Uh, all right, so we don't need to be perfect. As you can see, we're close. That's all we need. All right, so we're going to go to this rear unit. We're going to look at pistons. We're going to select pistons. You'll notice the pistons go down. All right, now, to get this to connect, we need to make sure the container is on, and you'll notice it snaps. Perfect. All right, so the next thing we want is we want to release interlink. So this interlink is are these connectors here. They interlink these two um, units. So we're going to select release interlink, and as you notice, it detaches. All right, so now we're ready to move. So let's jump back in our power unit. Let's uh, go gear up. Let's make sure our parking brake's off, and let's drive ahead. All right, so now the um, kind of a basic rule of trailers, the shorter the trailer is, the, um, I don't, I don't want to say necessarily more difficult it is, but the shorter the trailer is, um, the more your movements are accentuated. So if we had a really long trailer, it would be a piece of cake to put it right where we want. A short trailer, a little movement is exacerbated by the trailer. So you want to make small movements with this. So we'll do it in first person again. And so again, we want to line this antenna up with the center rib of the trailer. And again, because the con the connectors um, will, uh, because the connectors will, you know, snap if we're close, we don't have to get it perfect. We just have to get it close. And so let me see if I might need to go in first person to see this. I'm sorry, third person to see this. And let's check. So we're actually doing a pretty good job here. So let's try to. Get back straight. There we go. A oh, little bit more. A little bit more turn. So might have missed it there. Let me look. Yep. So we're gonna pull up a little. Uh, we'll pull up. So it should auto connect at this point. Um, so I have my pistons up as well. I can put my pistons down. It will snap if the pistons are still up. But let's jump out and put the pistons down. All right, so let's put the pistons down. They're just lower to the ground. It still will work if you if you left the pistons up, but um, we'll put them down. Okay. All right, we'll finish this in third person so you can see it. All right, so we just want to uh, reverse this into the front of the container. All right, and small movements are good, and you want to, uh, and that should snap us there. And we'll just push it the rest of the way to get it to um, snap on this side. There we go. All right, so we're snapped here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and jump out. And I'll put it in uh, in neutral so we're not listening to the backup alarm. All right, so now that we're connected, we're going to go pistons, and we're going to raise the pistons. So as you can see, it raises the, the uh, container off the ground. We're going to come back to the rear unit. The rear unit communicates via radio, so that's why our lights work and everything else. Um, we're going to leave release interlink on, it's fine, and we're going to do pistons, as you can see it raises it. So now our container is off the ground, and we've made the container the central member of the trailer. Alright, so we'll go, go ahead and jump in. Alright, we'll go first gear, and we'll shut the brake off, and we'll start driving. Now, the trailer has brakes, so if, as if we're going along, if we press S key, you notice our trailer has brakes. Now that's why the trailer didn't try to come around us. The trailer weighs a lot more than this little power unit. Now, one thing you have to worry about is what's called jackknifing. So now, if I'm going along and I make a really tight turn, you'll notice we jackknife. That's called jackknifing. You see it pushes us 90 degrees to the trailer. That's because the trailer is now going faster than the power unit and it's much heavier. So uh, one of the ways you prevent this is one, you want to make small movements, and if you're going to turn 90 degrees here, you want to be going very slowly because that trailer is going to try to um, go faster than the power unit. The other thing is we're going to limit our turn angle to about 45 degrees, and as you can see, that's going to keep it from jackknifing. Now, if we hit the brakes, you'll notice that prevents us from jackknifing because the trailer brakes come on as well. So just some a uh, little bit of... Um, 
you know, tips on how to not jackknife, you know, that's applicable IRL. Is we actually have a separate handle in the uh, tractor for uh, modulating the trailer brake. So if the trailer was trying to come around you in a jackknife situation, you could try to grab some trolley and also drive away from it. So uh, you want to keep that power unit moving faster than the trailer, and if you need to tap some brake, that will uh, put on trailer brakes. All right, so we can so we can move this close to the dock. You know, that's one I put there earlier. Um, and so we'll go through the detach procedure. So put it in neutral, and we will turn on the parking brake. Go ahead and get out. All right, so the first thing we want to do is let's set up our rear unit. We're going to put the pistons down. All right, they're down. That's good. We're going to come to our uh, front unit. We're going to put the pistons down. All right, so now the trailer's back on the ground. Now we want to look. We want to release the container, not the interlink. All right, so the container is now released. Let's jump in. All right, let's go forwards. All right, let's uh, actually, let me do this too. Let me turn on the interlink in the rear. That's going to allow it to snap when we get close. So the interlink is now on. So that's going to allow us to uh, auto snap when we get close. So we don't have to worry about that. All right, parking brake is off. Let's go forwards. All right, so now, as you can see, we've left the, um, the container behind us. And we're going to back into that um, other unit, and uh, we're going to connect. So we use our camera here. Now, I just uh, forgot something. So once we release the container, we can raise our pistons. The trailer was skipping around a little on me. That was because I didn't put the pistons back up. All right, so let's put it in reverse, and let's start reversing into the um, into the other unit. All right, so we'll just go nice and slow here. And we'll just align it. So again, a short trailer. There we go. Short trailer, you want real small movements, or else you're going to, you know, have to keep doing pull-ups. So as you can see, that was quick and easy. Um, it auto-attached because the interlink was all back to on. All right, so now we want to um, release our container. We want to raise our pistons up. And as you can see, the pistons are up. All right, so let's jump back into our power unit. We'll go forwards. And if you notice, now we are all positioned. So a nice little portable unit that um, allows us to do container moving and then actually transport the unit via ship. Um, we can also detach the unit here. Um, if I can actually get a hold of the light cord there. There we go. All right, so we can detach the unit. So the light cord is detached. You see the lights went out. Uh, we can press the release fifth wheel button, and that releases our trailer. Um, we can also, I need to fix a block there. We can also put our parking brake on, one or both units. And now we can jump in the cab, and we can um, drive forward. So if we wanted to leave the trailer behind, we can do that. So this is how we would load it on a ship. We would then, um, you know, we could connect the, if you look at the top there, I have a rope anchor around the center of gravity. Rope anchor around the center of gravity on this one, that allows me to um, load these two units onto a ship and then um, go to Sawyer South and uh, move some containers. Uh, so this should be on the, sh on the workshop shortly. Uh, thank you for watching.